Dear students, in this video, we will be discussing about classification of meristematic tissues. Classification of meristematic tissues. Okay. Even in the last video also, we have been discussing about few meristematic types. In this video, we will see all the types of meristematic tissues and also different criteria which useful to the classification of meristematic tissues. First of all, we will discuss about different types of criteria. After that, we will see different types of meristematic tissues under respective criteria. Okay. Before that, we will see what is the definition of meristematic tissues. What is the definition of meristematic tissues? It is nothing but a type of tissue which is having a characteristic feature that is continuous divisions. Means the meristematic tissue will undergo continuous divisions and gives rise new cells continuously that is the characteristic feature of these meristematic tissues okay a scientist called nageli nageli in 1864 1864 he gave a term called meristem he gave one term that is meristem which is a Greek word, which is a Greek word to this actively dividing cells. What is the meaning of this meristem means to divide. In Greek, it means to divide. He gave this term to this continuously dividing cells. Okay. Now we will see what are the criteria to divide these meristematic tissues. There are four types of criteria that we will see one by one. It is criteria 1, criteria 2, criteria 3 and criteria 4. Total we have four criteria. Criteria 1, Criteria 2, Criteria 3, Criteria 4. Now, we will start with first one. The first classification is based on the position or locality of meristematic tissue on plant body. In this criteria, the classification is based on position or locality of meristematic tissue on plant body. Based on this criteria, we have different types that we will see little later. In the second criteria, based on origin and development. Here the criteria is based on origin and development, we have few types that we will see little later. First, we will discuss about all criteria only. Okay. Now, the third criteria is, it is based on the function of meristematic tissues. Based on the function of meristematic tissue, it is criteria. Based on this criteria, we have different types. Okay, that we will see later. And the fourth one, here the criteria is based on plane of cell divisions. Plane of cell division. Based on this criteria, we have different types. Okay. Now, we will start with the first one. That is the first criteria. Based on this criteria, we have three types. Three types of meristems. Number one is apical meristem. Apical meristem. Second one is intercalary meristem. Intercalary meristem. 
third one is lateral meristem lateral meristem here we will see all these three types of meristems with one simple diagram here i am drawing it is a shoot apex in the tip portions or in the apex we can see an actively dividing tissue it is called apical meristem here the criteria is position or locality since it is located at the tips that's why it is called apical meristem the second one is intercalary meristem which is located in between permanent tissues here in the nodal regions whenever the apical meristem undergoing divisions during primary growth of plant it just leave or left some meristematic cells in between permanent cells or permanent tissues here in the nodal regions we can see meristematic tissues called intercalary meristematic tissue which is common in monocots like grasses okay the third one lateral meristem we can see here in the lateral positions here in the lateral position we can see third type okay it is apical which is useful for the unidirectional growth the second one is intercalary it is useful for the elongation of internodes this is third one that is lateral meristem which is useful for the radial growth of stem or girth increase or secondary growth the lateral meristem useful to the secondary growth of plant apical meristem which is located here that is inter intercalary meristem located in this region lateral meristem which is located here which is useful for the secondary growth okay this is all about first one coming to the second criteria it is purely based on origin and development based on the origin and development we have two types of meristematic tissues the first one is primary meristem primary meristem second one is secondary meristem here the criteria is based on origin and development now we will discuss about primary meristem okay i will draw here one simple diagram so that we can easily understand whenever we saw a seed it will germinate and gives rise two things the upper side plumule and lower side radicle here in the tips we can see meristematic zones called apical meristems apical meristems and next one this apical meristem also leaves some tissues in between permanent tissues called intercalary meristem intercalary meristem these two things we can see in the early stage of plant life but here the lateral meristem absent we can't see lateral meristem due to the activity of apical and intercalary meristem first one or two years the plant grow in unidirectional way after that it will start radial growth means secondary growth because due to the production of multiple branch it will create pressure on stem that's why it start radially with the help of lateral meristem okay here we can see here it is better understanding with one transfer section it is stem here it is steel this region is cortex this is epidermis here in the cortex we can see a ring of lateral meristem it is lateral meristem which is form later stage okay during secondary growth we can see this ring formation the apical meristem which is formed initially apical and intercalary meristem together form in the initial stage that's why these two together called as primary meristem this is lately formed means during secondary growth that's why it is called secondary meristem okay here the criteria is based on origin and development we have two types 
first one is primary which is formed in the initial stage the second one is lately formed or secondarily formed that is lateral meristem which is located in the steel and in the cortex region that is secondary meristem okay now we will see the third criteria that is based on the function we have few types in meristematic tissues that types we will see now there are three types in meristematic tissues based on these criteria the first one is protoderm protoderm second one is ground meristem ground meristem third one is procambium procambium meristem these are all meristem only but the criteria here is function what function they are doing in the future based on that we have three types okay first we will see one by one with the help of one simple diagram it is transfer section of stem here it is outer layer called epidermis epidermis in the center we will have steel in between steel and epidermis we have cortex okay now we will see what is the function of these three things okay the first one is protoderm it will function as a precursor to the epidermis second one ground meristem it will act as a precursor to the cortex okay means it will produce cortex the third one is procambium it will act as a precursor tissue to the stellar development okay means protoderm giving rise epidermis ground meristem giving rise cortex otherwise filling tissue third one is gives rise steel okay including xylem and phloem means they are functioning in different way based on that function based on that criteria we have three types protoderm ground meristem procambium these are the functions of the same now we will see the fourth one that is fourth criteria here the criteria is based on plane of divisions we have three types of meristematic tissues that we will see one by one the first one is block meristem or mass meristem okay second one is file meristem or rib meristem file meristem or rib meristem third one is plate meristem plate meristem here the criteria is plane of cell division now we will see the plane of cell division with this simple diagrams it is meristematic cell here in case of first type that is block or mass meristem the cell can divide in all planes in this plane in this plane and in this plane and also in this plane means the cell can divide in all planes in case of block or mass meristem coming to the second type that is file or rib meristem here it is meristematic cell the cell can divide in horizontal planes only like this horizontal planes only okay horizontal or periclinal cell divisions only found in this type of cells that is file or rib meristem type okay now coming to the third type that is plate meristem here it is meristematic cell here the cell can divide in anticlinal or perpendicular manner only the cells can divide only in one direction that is anticlinal or perpendicular cell divisions in case of plate meristem okay these are the criteria for this 
classifications. The first criteria is based on locality. The second criteria is based on origin. Third is function. Fourth one is plane of divisions. In the first criteria, we have three types. Second criteria, we have two types. Third criteria, we have three types. In fourth criteria, we have three types of meristematic tissues. This is all about meristematic tissues and their classification. Okay. Thank you.